presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the March 16th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check out the circumstances of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. You can always let those fingers do the walking, which means go ahead and send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And, of course, inside our inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, that'll help me to be able to get your email versus all the junk that I typically get out there. So that's one way. Of course, if you're in a Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday, of course. Course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got all the U.S. indices trading the upside. Dow's up 253. That's seven tenths of a percent. S and P a little over one percent or 47 points. Nasdaq one and seven tenths, 236. Russell a little over two percent or 42 points. Semis two and seven tenths percent, 86 points. The uh, semis, uh, the trannies are up uh, 500 points, a little over three percent. You've got gold trading out at 1911. That's off 18 bucks. Silver's down 34 cents at 2041. Lights be crude off 43 pennies, 96 ones to print there. Natural gas up 17 cents. Big move. Still consolidating with inside its daily profile. The 30 year treasury is flat. It's trading out at 152.02. Lead the charge dollar wise. The upside. You've got Mercado Libre up 8.5% or 83 bucks. Booking holding 79 or 4%. EPAM Systems 43 bucks, 90%. Shopify 41, 8%. AutoZone 39, 2%. So we've got some movers and we've got some shakers. Lockheed Martin is down 26 bucks at 6%. Blue Water Vaccines down 41% or 27 bucks. Northrop Grumman down 26 bucks, 6%. Iconics Healthcare down 19 bucks or 54%. So there are some movers and there are some shakers. But what we're going to begin the day is uh, as we're waiting for the Fed announcement comes out in 51 minutes. And then I believe we've got a uh, uh, the, uh, the the that's when the state mobile release. I think there is. I'm not sure. Is there a uh, is there a uh, follow up meeting? Uh, after that, maybe somebody in the den can let me know. But I know that we've got an announcement at two o'clock. So what are the markets doing as we speak right now? What I have up on the screen for you is I've got uh, two versions of the ES Mini and two versions of the NQ. The reason I've got versions, if you take a look at the very top left-hand corner, yeah, press conference at 2.30. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So if you take a look at the upper left-hand corner, you have the actual June contract, which is the current contract for the ES Mini. We've just rolled over into it. And on the right-hand side, what you have is the Stevie synthetic version. Now, the synthetic version stitches together prior contracts. It's different than the continuous. And it provides us with additional information. And oftentimes, it provides us with different profiles. And that, that's what we have here. So, for example, we're just focusing on the upper row, if you will, you can see that in the June contract, price not only hit 80 sending trend line, it has also hit the top of that profile. 
So the top, and, and even though you have different profiles, these are still where sellers are at out here. So the, the information is useful, it's very useful. And at 43.2650, if price can close above that, you can see some trend line resistance. That would then suggest to move up to 43.82. 43.8175 is the top of the synthetic version of the contract. You close above 43.8175, then that suggests to move to 44.38 or 45.14. Now I know somebody out there is gonna ask me the question, well now Steve-O, how did you get to 44.38? And that is a great question. I'm gonna show you that. We're gonna switch back and forth uh, between windows here. So you just gotta give me just a second to do that. But where that's coming from now is the white background daily profile chart. So this is all using the same data. Uh, sometimes it just generates uh, different uh, technical pieces of information. Here you can see that we have a profile with a resistance level of 4438. That's the top of the profile. That is where that number came from. So you can kind of take this one step at a time, which we have. A close above 4326 suggests 4381. A close above 4381 suggests to move to 4438. A close above 4438 suggests to move to 4514. That is the progression. Now, what about if the um, uh, if if buyers and sellers, if sellers really take control after the Fed announcement, or perhaps sometimes during Fed Powell. Uh, Q&A session out there, we'd be looking for support. The first level of support here would really be that oscillator and change line. Now, that's going to change, not going to change no matter what screen we look at, and that would get us down to about the 42.15 level. Is there any signal that we're going to get down to 42.15? The answer is no, not that I see just yet. More likely, what we see is move back to 42.81. 42.81 is the 120-minute time frame chart. You can see its oscillator and change line recently changed colors. So it's logical that that level would be tested. If you get a test and rejection of that area, that suggests that price moves to the higher ground and you'd be watching those resistance levels. There's nothing else really here to report on in the ES Mini. So what I'll do, even though it'll take just a few moments for this to populate, is we're going to go ahead and populate the green screen or the, the white background screens, and then we'll move back to the NQ to the black background screens because again here we have different profile levels now on a daily time frame you can see that the bottom of the daily profile the white background chart is 13901 13901 is going to be the first battleground now price has gotten up towards that level it's given it up a bit but that doesn't necessarily mean that that's it but that is your first level of resistance as I switch over to the black background screens out here, you're not going to see that as the bottom of its profile. Now, you can see on the five-hour chart, price got up to the resistance, 13,749.75. That would be a key level to be watching. If price can overcome that, that's going to suggest higher price. We have that 120-minute chart, the same oscillator and change line that changed color. So price is likely targeting the 13,575 level on a pullback. <clears throat> I'm not saying that it can't go further. I'm just saying that is the first level of support. Now, as I change screens, we go back to the black background screen out here. Again, all of this information, very useful. You just want to go ahead and take note of it so you can watch those levels. Now, to the downside, inside of the NQ, there is no support. What I mean by there is no support is just simply there is no profile support. If you take a look at yesterday's candle session, that was a bull sash candle. That was confirming a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. So therefore, the support level is really the low of yesterday, and that is at 12, 942.50. If there were to be a close below that, that says we had lower. Now, head lower to where we'd have to go take a look at some additional charts out here. Uh, but you can't see the different profile levels for the NQ versus that white background chart. Now, let's go quickly turn the page here and take a look at the profile levels for the Dow. So you got the June contract in the left hand side. It's similar but not the same as the synthetic version. You can see very different profiles for the Russell 2000 for the June contract versus the synthetic version. Right now, price is sitting at resistance. We take that as the June contract at 2008. And inside the Dow, the resistance level being at 33.804. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. 
and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go to our first caller. It's Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this morning? Oh, I'm doing great, Steve. How are you? I am doing very well. Thank you. I believe the ticker that you are calling about is uh, DM, Desktop Metal. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, Steve. I just, uh, the one thing I noticed, it's been in this consolidation for you know, a couple of months now, and just wondering what... Uh, you know, levels up above, it needs to kind of break through to, you know, potentially get out of that, that zone and, and start moving upward. Sure. So the first level would be 426, and today's high is 427. And 426 happens to be the top of the daily profile. Now, it is, uh, I'd, I'd call this a bearish structured profile, meaning that the center, which is priced at 401, Brent, is closer to the top at 426 than it is to the bottom. So you have more sellers lined up between 401 and 426. And therefore, if price could close above 426, that would be a positive. Really, what you'd like to see is a close above 429, which is the center of its weekly profile and you can see that for the last two four six seven really eight weeks now the profile has only been around for six weeks but basically for the last eight weeks or two months prices have traded between the range of 351 to 429 and that's the bottom and center of that weekly profile so i think the information here is really clear to us as far as what price needs to close above now on a weekly basis brent if you did get a close above 429 because this is a bullish structured weekly profile opposite of the bearish structured daily profile 
the daily profile will have failed. That would be positive. And then when you get above the center of a bullish structured profile, you typically find that buyers are able to push price up to resistance, which is the top, which is 558. So that's what the black background daily and weekly charts. There's not really any information here on the monthly that's um, useful to us. Do you have any questions about these charts before I switch over to the white background charts? No, that should do it, Steve. Thank you. Okay, so let's go take a look at that, see if there's any additional information that uh, Brent and I can gleam out of here. The first thing that we can see is there was a TD9 count bottom that formed. It's still in place on a monthly basis. That was in January of 2022. On a weekly basis out here, again, we're just looking for a confirmed bottom signal. And uh, do I have that? It does look like we also have on a weekly basis a confirmed TD9 count also taking place in January. So you've got those two nice bottom signals. Let's see what the daily chart is communicating. Well, the daily has a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. And that formed out here. Let me pull this back a tad, make it easier for everybody to see. That actually formed out here with the bullish engulfing on February 24th. That makes a lot of sense. So you've got the bottoming signals. It's just a matter of price dealing with resistance. We've really covered where that is at. On the uh, intraday charts out here, not really much additional to add. We can see at about 424, 431, uh, those are breakdown resistance levels on the 195, 130. So those are resistance areas. Uh, so that's what it looks like to me, Britt. Um, so what, 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 what say you? What, what do you after oh, that information? Good, that's good information, Steve. I have the they're the two dollar and fifty cent calls that go out to uh, January twenty twenty three. So I bought those when I was down low, and I just it was just curious, like I asked you know initially, what levels you know does this kind of need to get through to, to hopefully be able to you know, keep moving upward, and that's what she gave me, and I appreciate it. Cool. So if you look back to one last piece of information that I see here, um, I noticed it as, as you were chatting, which is that the, the new profile that formed on a daily basis about four or five days ago is within the body of the prior profile. And that is a message of a consolidation. So this still has the consolidation, which we really see by taking a look at the weekly chart as well. But once you break through that consolidation, that's also going to give you that measured move, you know, in essence, equal to the overall consolidation out there. So it looks like it's just consolidating sideways. It's got the nice bottoming patterns out there. And you'd love to see this close above 429. Is there anything else that I can help you with, Brent? I think that's it. If at some point you get a chance, if you can go over a uh... Just where you think gold's at, you know, are we getting near some kind of bottom or what areas do we need to be looking at to potentially go along that again? So that's, that's one other thing. And just, yeah, uh, well, I was going to let you know we've had a, been having a, a good uh, kind of latter part of the, the winter here and, you know, going into spring and all the fruit trees have had all their blossoms, you know, had a chance oh, to great. fully develop and be honest. That would be a good crop this year. I'll let you know how that progresses we get there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Well, look, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i go over uh, gold right now since you had asked about it. You're welcome to stay on the line if you'd like, uh, and uh, we can try to walk through things here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just switch over and take a look at our, our, our four-panel chart out here, the daily, the weekly, monthly, and the quarterly. And so here's what we know. We know that price got up to the all-time high, 2074, rejected that level. So at this stage here, we've got a double top uh, signal that's in place. Price right now is trading below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. That's at 9 1920. And if price were to close below 1920 from a profile standpoint, that would be signaling to you and I that uh, price could get back to, well, it would be 1830. And 1830 happens to be the top of the weekly profile. Now, before price would get there, Brent, there's other levels for us to take a look at out here. Uh, but that's what these charts are communicating to us. Uh, are you still on the line? Yep, I am. Okay, any questions about what you see here on the black background charts? No, I would just, just what's your feeling is about gold? Do you think this still has lower to go or getting yeah. uh, a low? I mean, I guess we could look at some of the shorter term, you know, time frame charts and see if they're indicating anything or if this still has a, a way to go. I would say the key level here for to answer that question for us, Brent, is 1892.20. And that is the daily breakout level for Goldilocks. I would say that if price closed below that, then we would get the signal that price is likely to uh, head lower out there. So we are trading below the bottom of the daily profile. It's a bullish in structure, not the one that you see on my white background chart here, but on the black background charts there. Either way, price is trading below the bottom of a profile. And if it does close below 1920.60, then we'd be 
watching 1892. And so if, close, if price closed below 1892.20, then I would say it has uh, lower to go. Now, on an intraday basis, um, you do have some roads momentum indicator signals, but nothing that's been confirmed just yet. And that's really on the 195 minute, the 130, the 65, uh, the one. The 30-minute chart actually has a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom, uh, but that's the only one. So I don't have, I don't really think we have clear, convincing um, information yet when we take a look at uh, gold. If we were, to, any questions about these white background charts? No, I think what I might do, Steve, is just, you know, how I like to do that Friday trade and maybe we'll let, you know, go through today, tomorrow, and then to see where we're at Friday potentially with it. Yeah, look, that sounds like a good deal. I mean, if we take a look at what gold is doing across the globe out here, um, it has topped. This is a daily time frame chart. So it topped to the day in, um, in really all of the major currencies out there. And so that could be a significant high, can be a significant high. And we can see that price is trading lower in all the major currencies as we speak right now. So whether it's uh, dollars, euros, yen, and pounds, I think we're going to probably have to add the Chinese yuan version of this chart here. Uh, knowing that uh, longer term, uh, that's <laughs> that, that may become the world's reserve currency. But we'll take things one step at a time. A any questions about these charts? No, I think that's it, Steve. I really appreciate it. I just, uh, yeah, it could be one of those things where it pretty much got up to, uh, when you see that kind of a move, uh, kind of the same with the oil where you had the big, yep. you know, kind of like whatever you want to call it, all that enthusiasm where it gapped up or went, went up, shooting up there, didn't hold price, you know, went to levels that a lot yep. of people were thinking could get to, and it did that, and now it's backing down, so it could come down for a while. Exactly. Hey, Brett, we're about to go to a commercial here. Great to speak to you. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Folks, we'll be back in just a few. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. It is wonderful Wednesday, and that means uh, not only do we get to speak with Brent, but we get to speak with John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing this afternoon? Steve, I'm doing very well. Thanks for taking the call. And, uh, of course, uh, we out here in uh, TFNN land are always uh, always interested to hear Brent and Steve speak. So thanks ah, for that. Perfect. Yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure, for sure. Of course, everybody wants to hear you speak as well. So uh, the, uh, the, uh, the microphone is yours. Say, uh, along with uh, oil and gold and copper and nickel all uh, making... Uh, uh, tops to some extent last week. Uh, the wheat market did as well. Now, of course, in the United States, there's three different classes of wheats uh, that have futures contracts associated with them. Uh, my suspicion is uh, the Kansas City wheat. At, that represents uh, futures contracts on the largest uh, class of wheat grown in this country. That would be the uh, the uh, hard red winter wheat. Uh, my suspicion is that topped, conceivably topped for a good period of time, uh, Monday, March 7. And I'm wondering if you can pull up the new crop uh, Kansas City wheat futures contract. That ticker symbol is KEN2. And uh, the high on March 7th was 1259. I'd be interested to see your chart work on the daily and the weekly basis to see what levels underneath current price uh, show up as support levels. Yeah, as support levels. We'll leave Perfect. It there. Okay. Yeah. So the 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 answer to your question is uh, ten thirty two twenty. And that is the left-hand panel. So you should be able to see that now. It's the black background chart. It's the daily time frame for the uh, July contract for Kansas City wheat. And uh, we did get a what I'll call a sell the D point. That was an A to B equals CD that completed. And when I say completed, it was because of the bearish reversal candle, the bear sash candle that actually formed on March the 8th. So we have a completed topping signal. That typically says that price will pull back to support. Now, the black background charts, I don't have the oscillator and change line, but that would be the first level. Um, and uh, that level, actually, I can tell you that price is trading below. The next level would be the profile areas. And on these black background chart, the top of that profile is at 1032.20. Now, when that profile formed, price was already above that. And that is a, actually a bullish signal. So even though we have, in effect, a top, I would say that the signal here is neutral. And it's neutral because any time you trade above the top of a profile where the sellers are at, in essence, that's deemed to be uh, bullish out here. If price were to close, John, below 1032.20, then the signal to us would be a retracement back to the 919 or 956 area. Is there any question about that uh, daily time frame black background chart? No, that's very helpful. Might you pull up the white background charts, the daily with the ABCD targets lower? The A to B equals CD targets lower. So for that, I, I will switch to the white background chart. But if there was an A to B equals CD to the downside that's going to form, it'll have to take out the swing point from March the 10th. And uh, if it does that, then the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD, pull this off to the side, would get us to 918.25. Uh, 920, Interestingly enough, John, 919 is the bottom of that bullish structured daily profile. So that would be See, the one-to-one. That's -one. why I call you. Isn't it fascinating <laughs> how these things pop up like that? 
it does. But folks, first, price has got to close below 1027.50. But this certainly gives you that price projection. And since in, in John's mind, he's saying, hey, this could be a significant top. And so where would the next uh, uh, perhaps logical entry be or best reward risk uh, entry be? And certainly we can see the completion of an A to B equals CD at 918 would be nice. And of course, what we'd like to see there is some type of bullish reversal candle. So now, John, what I can do is I'll switch over to the white background screens. It, it may provide us with some additional information information. In fact, I'm sure that it will. And some of that additional information would be support. But first, what I would do is start with the monthly time frame. So on the monthly time frame, yes, price went up, made that high, got to those uh, higher highs, those targeted levels out there. And in doing so, right now, the month is not over, but price is trading above the bar following bar number nine of a TD nine count. And if at the month, price closes above that level, that level happens to be 966.25. That's actually a bullish message out here. So that's an area to watch, but we're only halfway through the month. The weekly time frame chart suggests that support would be at 956. So 956 would take us right to the center of that bullish structured daily profile. So I would say if price gets below 1027.50, even though you'd have an A to B equal CD down to the 918 level, I think you'd be watching for that uh, any kind of bottoming signal that could unfold, certainly on a daily time frame, maybe like a TD9 count or something like that, in that 956 level. But on a weekly chart, if price were to get below 956, then that says, okay, that 919 area. Any question about the weekly chart here, John? Oh, fascinating. Thank you. Okay. On the daily chart here, we've got different profile levels. And as you know, we still use all that information. It's really generated by the same data, but sometimes it generates additional information. So this gives us 1032.35. So whereas on the black background chart, it was the top of the profile that had formed at 1032, here at 1032 happens to be the bottom of the profile. So the nice thing about that for your potential A to B equals CD, is we know if there's a close below 1032, then we then key levels of support are broken, whether it's on the white chart or whether it's on the black background chart. And if this does more than a one to one A to B equals CD, it could pull all the way back to its breakout level, which is 804.25. John, any questions about the this white background chart? Actually, uh, no, thank you very much. And uh, frankly, uh, I am praying for that. Uh, we don't want food shortages yes. facing humanity. And uh, yes. getting back down to eight bucks, that would be very nice. Yes, yes. Well, it's got that possibility, but first it's got to crack these uh, key support levels. And I think you and I have uh, done a pretty good job of identifying that. And that is at that 1032 level for the uh, Kansas City uh, wheat contract for July out there. Anything Absolutely. else I can Thanks do for so you, John? Much. appreciate that. Hey, you bet. John, always good to hear from you. Thanks so much for calling. And, uh, folks, the phone lines are open, 877-927-6648. So we would love to hear from you as well. Uh, there are some requests that have come in by email out here. And uh, the first one coming in from uh, Rich. And Rich wants to take a look at Mosaic. So I believe we're on the white background charts. Yeah, we are. So give me a moment here, if you would, folks. Let me change over to our eight-panel screen. Or am I there? Oh, I guess I'm there. Okay, I didn't realize I had put this information here. So let's go take a look at Mosaic. It's going to take just a moment here to populate and uh, go back and read the question. The question is, you're a long-term holder with a nice profit. Thoughts on where to take profits or buy more, please. And then can we also take a look at Nordic American tankers? So with regard to Mosaic out here, what do we see? What do we see? So on a monthly time frame, everything looks bullish. When I say everything looks bullish, you're above the top of its profiles. You're above a green oscillator and change line. You don't have a topping signal that's in place out here. So that looks good. And and I understand, uh, Rich, why you would be a long-term holder. The weekly chart, really the same message out here. No... You know, so on the weekly chart, I'm going to take that back. There is certainly a confirmed, at this stage here, a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern. That right now, it's only Wednesday, it's being confirmed by this bear sash candle. So like the A to B point, I would draw from my bar 8 up to a wave G, and then i take that over to that retracement. You can see we're well above it. It was more than a one-to-one -one, uh, A to B equals CD. But this suggests price could pull back to 5120. Rich, when we get back to this break, we'll further look at Mosaic. MOS is the ticker symbol.
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. I used that uh, time during the break here for Rich to just go ahead and draw the A to B equals CD pattern that has formed on a weekly basis inside of Mosaic. Now, we don't know. It's only Wednesday. We don't know what the actual bar will look like. If this were Friday at 4 o'clock, then we would know that this is a bear sash candle, and that would be confirming the sell the D point. So when you get a confirmed sell the D point, then we start looking for support. Well, really, when we go take a look at support on a weekly basis, the first level would be its oscillator and change line. That's currently priced at 51.50. So you're at 56.42. I would prepare for that potential move back. You'll also notice on the daily time frame here, Rich, the bottom of the daily profile is 51.17. So it's really lining up with the oscillator and change line on a weekly basis. Now, as price moves lower, or should price move lower, then uh, that uh, oscillator and change line on the weekly is also going to move lower. But just use that as a target area. And that, in essence, now it's a bullish structure daily profile. That, in essence, would be an area to add to your position uh, should price pull back to that level. Now, the daily profiles on the white background charts are different than they are on the black. Um, are they? No, they're not. They're exactly the same. Okay, so great. Everything lines up there. Uh, the 195-minute chart's got a nice TD9 count top. Price is testing support. If price gets below or closes below the bottom of this current profile, which is currently priced at... 56.06. That's going to give you your signal of pulling back in that $51 area. So that's what I would be watching there. As far as where to sell, 
Um, you know, you're a long-term holder, and that monthly chart is signaling that price uh, should continue higher after this pullback. And if it does, then really the target, Rich, I would say becomes the February 2011 highs, and that's in the 89 area. It's not really the area to focus on right now because what you're really watching for are these signals that show a retracement and what does price do as it gets back to these levels of support and then kind of take it from there. So I hope that helps you out, Rich. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time to write in and have a wonderful Wednesday. Next request coming in from the Tiger's Den. This will take a look at a, a China stock out here, KWEB. So that is the China Internet ETF out there. Nice move today. Let me get that going on the... I'm not even sure which chart you guys are looking at, so let me uh, see if I can figure that out. But I'm going to get that going on the white background. Yep, you guys look at the white ones, which is fine. But let's go put the black background charts up on the screen while the white ones populate. And so as we take a look at KWEB, we can see that price has made its way all the way back up into its bullish structured profile. I believe this was for SNP maybe in the Tigers to know. Yeah, SNP. And so SNP, you'd love to see it close today above 2880. 2880 is the center of its bullish structured profile. You close above, typically you close above the center of a bullish structured profile. That signals move to the top. The other thing that this gives to you or generates for you um, is that this was a bullish structure profile and this formed above price, which is a bearish message. Well, price continued to move lower. If this is just a counter trend rally, then where price should find resistance, so watch today's close, that would be at the center. And that's at 2880. Your 2898 right now, is that close enough? Is that far enough ahead? Yeah, I'd say a buck over that is far enough ahead if it closes above that to signal the move to the 3098 area. So that's what I see. But price is in essence in a resistance zone out here. Let's go see what the white background charts say. Maybe they provide us with some additional help here in navigating this trade for you. And as we go to those, the one thing to notice here on the weekly time frame is that it is trying to form a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. It's got a piercing candle as we speak right now, but price has also made its way right up to resistance. And that's that red oscillator and change line. So that is actually printing at 29.10. We're printing out at 29.07. So that's a resistance level that you would like to see fail. If price closes above that, that would suggest a further move higher. The uh, daily time frame shows a TD9 count. That is going to, at least if we were to close right now, that pattern goes away. And the reason it goes away is because we are in bar number nine, and you need to have a completed bar number nine to complete that pattern. Well, Bar number nine right now is trading above the close of bar number five. So that's going to negate that signal. So you wouldn't have that as the bottoming pattern out here. But, you know, whether that's the case or not, what you're really now watching for is how is price handling the weekly oscillator and change line and the center of that uh, daily bullish structured profile. I don't really see much else out here to assist us. So I do hope that helps you out, uh, SNP. And uh, thanks so much for the request and writing in. Our next question is coming in from Eddie in uh, Boca. Hey, Eddie, this is good. The writing's just a tad larger. Uh, either that or my eyes have improved. My eye vision kind of comes and goes these days. Uh, Eddie's question is about the cues. So let me see. He's asking about the cues. So let me get those up on the screen here at least. Well, of course, you guys are on the white screen. Let me, uh, yeah, let me get that on the black screen. Give me a moment here to change if you would. And then we're going to go ahead and read his question out here. There we go. Go to live. Okay. So Q, Q, Q. I'm going to fire that up on the white screens as well. We retested lows of the Qs on Monday and since have taken up. Absolutely. And those lows that were being tested here, if we take a look at this on the Q, Q, Q series ETF, what Eddie's referring to is the low of February the 24th out there. And that was at 318.26. Now, the actual close on the trading day of March 14th was 318.17. So it was a slight close below it. There were 79 million shares that traded on that day versus on the 24th, which had 130 million shares. So there's Eddie's test. And now we'll just call it a rejection on lighter volume. Can't this be, so the further reading the question, can't this be that the lows are in? Absolutely. Yes, it can be that the lows are in. So that's, uh, we'll, we'll say that is a, certainly a possibility. It appears the war in Ukraine will end soon, one way or another. The Fed is raising a quarter point today. China looks like they won't invade Taiwan at this point. And the U.S. will probably reinstate Trump energy policy at some point soon. Wow. 
you've got a lot of confidence out there. I don't support all that confidence, but uh, hey, I hope that you're right about all these things. Uh, but uh, mm, okay. Since now, let's finish reading the question. Republicans will probably take the House and Senate in November. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there won't even be a vote. Uh, and uh, their policies are more pro-market. What do you think? I think all those things kind of make a lot of sense. But right now, what you and I can really focus on or what I can focus on is really the technical aspect of the market versus some of these fundamental aspects. But let's just go back to your idea. Can't you know, is it possible that this is a bottom? And, uh, and my answer would be yes, absolutely. Let's take a look at uh, something here. Uh, let me get it up on the uh, screen. And it's this tool here provided to me by the uh, folks at uh, Seasonix. And here what we can take a look at, Eddie, is uh, – how do I do this? I think I – Search for instruments. Let's just put in the QQQ series ETF. And here what we're going to be able to do is you and I, we can take a look at uh, just simply the seasonal pattern. Now, this has been the last 10 years. Let me just put the last five years. And so this red line out here, this happens to be where we're at right now. And this is over the last five years. Now, I've taken out the cool thing about this tool is it allows us to go ahead and take out the uh, COVID crash. If I leave the COVID crash in, which is what we've got right now, then seasonally over the next over the last five years, the actual bottom that has come in for the uh, queues is uh, right around March, the end of March. But look, we just use this as kind of a guideline. We've got those bottom signals, uh, if you will, inside the queues, inside the NQ, inside the NASDAQ 100 out there. Again, we'll take out we'll, we'll take out the that uh, information from uh, COVID. Here, if we take, like, we go more than five years. We go for the last 23 years out here. And now you see that. And so, yes, there is a possibility. You just take a look at the seasonal aspect of the market that there most certainly can be a bottom that is in place out there. So that's a real possibility. Steve Roach with TFNN. Be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. 
The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go to our next caller. It is uh, Michael in Niagara Falls. Michael, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Yeah, fine, uh, Steve. Um, I know we're we're short for time here, but yeah. I'm trading the UNG. It's been a chopper for the past week here. Do um, you have any TD9 counts on the on your task market profile? Well, I no. I tell you what. What I think that you're really in here is a uh, is a uh, sideways consolidation right now. So I'm going to look at the daily time frame chart for you. Uh -huh. This is the white background chart. You should see this. This formed a road momentum indicator top. But in order to do that, you need price to move higher than a prior high with less relative energy out there, and that's what it did. And then what you need, Mike, is you need a bearish reversal candle. And that's what formed on March 7th. That was a dark cloud cover. What that then uh -huh. did the very next day, it created a, a nice little profile, and that's where price has been chopping around so it's really consolidating between four dollars and 44 cents now i'm looking at the may contract so okay. right now ung ung's holdings are primarily april but that's changing i know that they're getting out of april and moving into may uh, uh -huh. but they, they, but it looks the same whether i have the may contract or the april contract up on my screen but yeah. just anticipate that what you're looking for on ung you're really watching the natural gas contract for may you're watching the support level 444 and for resistance you're watching 503 and right now it's dead center in the center and you just have this little chop fest so there's nothing here else that i can provide you with that i see at least on the daily time frame if i look at short-term time frames for you just for any other signals you asked about a td9 count top you do yeah. have one on the 120 minute chart so that's helpful to you in that right now price is trying to take on that resistance level that is at four dollars and 79 cents again this is the may contract if you uh -huh. see it close above four dollars and 79 cents that then suggests that it should continue to run higher so that's the only td9 count that i see that uh, you should be aware of if price doesn't close above that then uh, you know welcome to your chop fest uh, uh -huh. Mike, I wish we. I, I wish we had a red line at 360, huh? Uh, yeah. Hey, I wish we had. Uh, I wish we had more time. We're out of uh, time here. Well, always good to talk to you. Thanks so much for calling. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Mike, and everybody else as well. Stay tuned. You've got two more great hours. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home from three to four. I'll be back with you on terrific Thursday. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks.